Welcome back, everyone. We are getting ready with Group 3 here at the Tekken World Tour Grand Finals. It is the Global Finals presented yeah, by Cup Noodles. I'm here with Mr. Tasty Steve. My name is Mark Man, and we are ready for Group 3 action. So first match, Steve. Yeah, what do we got? Is, what uh, do we got? Tishuan versus Naroma. I mean, uh, Tishuan has been around for quite some time. Fighting out of, he's originally from Japan. Correct, he's from Osaka. But he's in Canada right now, if I'm not mistaken. No, no, he's in Italy. Italy, my bad, my bad. But Naroma, coming out of nowhere at the Korea Master event, oh, scaring yeah. everybody into uh, straightening up, flying right, and getting these Jeez. points. Yeah, not just that, he had just off of his stellar performance uh, at Southeast Asia Majors during the Asia Regional Final, he's done obviously a great job. He's been top eight at three of the events mm -hmm. in Asia. Winning one of them, of course, the one that you mentioned in Korea. But now he is here, and he's uh, looking to, you know, get into our top eight. But this battle between two very, very strong Japanese players, Koas Games, Noroma, up against CGG Tishuman. So let's see who's going to take this. And much like we expected, it's going to be Master Raven versus Jack7. Yeah, we, don't, we, ne we very rarely see um, Master Ravens, especially when it comes to Tekken World Tour Finals. Oh, but this is the best one. Master Raven potentially in the world. And here we go. We're going to find out how good this master is, because only a true master <laughs> can take out Naroma. But anyways. Nice stuff while standing four on the punish. Oh, and Steve, what stage are we in? We are in the Azure. The Azure of Infinite. Okay, here we go. I love this movement already. Tornado that's, disaster. That's the thing you got to watch out for. You know, Tishuman, such a master with that snake dash. The way he likes to really encroach on their space. But not just that. Sometimes he'll move in, he'll crouch dash, and he'll do nothing. Kind of like, you know, wait for a reaction. Oh, what oh. a whip punish Did with the down four, too. Oh, wow, that is definitely going to be the round. And what a performance already. That first round being cleaned up nice and smooth by Naroma. Naroma taking it out there with the Rage Art. Just enough, able to close it out. That spacing was ridiculous. Oh, and that's the thing. is like one of the, you, that's the thing you got to watch out for with these characters. The spacing is everything, especially with Jack. I like the back one. Try to get the reset. Oh, and the punish? Did you see that? That was so sick. Block on the low. Just to get that full punish back one, reset again. Into the tombstone. Ugh. Plants Master Raven into the ground here. Goes for the Oki there. Unable to get the kill. Oh, that's going to be enough. That's not a tombstone. That, that's not a tombstone. It is not. It's not a tombstone. It's a power drop. That's for you, Sanchez. Don't forget. Down 4-1-1. Uh, uh, uh. Goes nice. For it. Breaks the tackle. Good evasion here. Low parry. I see you while standing four. Gonna get the combo. Gets the bound with the down 4 1 1. What's up? Again, going in for the Oki here. Great punish there with the wild standing one. Going back the other way now. Okay, get up attack just to keep that offense. Nice jackhammer, and Naroma took back that game clean. That was very clean. That was three very convincing rounds. Had a great set of reads, a lot of punishes here. And not just had the clutch spacing there from Naroma, able to get those nice launches where he needed it. Looking really clean here, and uh, Tishuman's gonna have to make some adjustments here. Man, Naroma's looking too sharp right now. First game out. Bunch of great reads with the low parries. Yeah, I mean, if you guys are just tuning in, we're just over halfway through group play right now. We are in group number three. Uh, on deck, we have Anakin going up against DG Kane and Trench, and that's gonna be right up next. But man, again, lots of matches, and then we have group four, which is gonna be a doozy. And that's what's so scary. Since these guys put themselves in these pools, you got to wonder what they were thinking. Oh, yeah. Putting themselves. We can, we can kind of tell who can swim and who can't. Yeah, right, exactly. Anyways, we are here back into the stage. This time we have walls. Okay, opening up with the low. Tries to go for the throw. Move from Tishuman looking really good. Really hard to find these big hits to get combos with a character like Master Raven. So you're going to see Tishuman taking those big gambles, big sweeping low, smaller combos, but you got to be careful. Sometimes yeah. Jack-7 does fall out. Jack does have weird hips here. Oh, gets a wild standing one. This is going to be big damage if he can get to the wall here. Unable to capitalize and get extra wall damage, but still. Continuing step. the momentum. He's going to have to be careful, though. Back to the wall. Oh, and oh, did you see that? Dude, I love that move, man. Round two. Trying to run up on me. Yeah, you got to be careful. The low again. Once again, like I said before, Tishuman's going to have to put a lot on the line and try to open up a character and a player like Naroma. Roma now with the advantage here, pushing towards the wall. Oh, oh did you see that? Oh, and the follow-up uh, into the shoulder lead. Damage. Tornado disaster just to fill out. Tishuman oh. does oh. have rage here. What's he going to go for for a follow-up? Oh, did you really go for that? Not today. And she still has options where she could go to a four mid, but Naroma knows exactly what Tishuman's going for. Oh, yeah. He didn't want to deal with any of that. One, two. 
I like the movement. Naroma doing a great job of not overextending. He's picking his spots pretty well. Look oh, at that backdash and punish again. Not able to finish out the combo. But still find another hit. There's a debug. Oh, yeah. Still making up for it there. Still got decent damage out of the exchange. Oh. Okay, I like the I like the defense coming from Tishuman right there. Nice. While oh, standing too. Big counter hit. Follow up. He should be able to get the wall. Oh, side wall somebody to mess it up. But the big body takes the punishment. So two rounds to one. And Tishuman with the advantage right now looking to tie things up. Low parry. Stop that low. Common tools of the jacks. Oh, and things have been missing so far. Those big boots. Another low parry. You cannot think that that's going to work. He sees it at this point. You got to go for that mid mix up. Or at least the delay on the low part. But anyways, back to the wall. Gotta be careful. Went for the big punish. Did not work out. Oh, nice. Tishuman maybe getting away with murder there. Oh, got hit with the mid and right through the rage drive. This is a big round. It could go either way. But we'll see who's gonna come out of the advantage. Naroma right now. Oh. I like the run up. You see Naroma slowly push into that corner. Tishuman not trying to get in that bad position. He does not want to be there. Oh, yeah. You gotta be careful. Wow, oh, up wow. Two right over. They trade blows. Nice punish on the hook. Something small, better than nothing. Oh, oh big block. Punish, goes for it down 4 2. Thought Master Raven was gonna be swinging. Defense looking really good for Naroma. Jack 7. About 30 seconds left on the clock. Nice, gets put the down there. And the low kick, scrubbing it out. Three rounds to two. Okay, Tishuman slowing it down. Works Making out a little better in his back. favor. And Tishuman is one of those guys that has a, a ton of focus. I went out to dinner yesterday. He was standing outside of the hotel thinking about what's going on today. <laughs> I came back from dinner. He was still standing out there. I ran into him actually like three or four times. Like outside, walking back and forth, just the contemplating. Focus. Yeah. Of course, going right back into the match. And this is going to be the decisive match between these two for this opening set. What will be the adjustments be? It was really close, though. That's the whole thing. Naroma was in control most of the time. It's just that last round seemed like, yo, know, he was ready. Master oh, Raven is one of those characters that you have to be careful of. All it takes is something small to get her momentum started. And that's the thing with Master Raven. It has so much potential for damage, especially with walls nearby. And, oh no, drop combo there. Doesn't matter, gets the down 4-4. Follow up here, now pushing towards the wall here. Good adjustments, look at the damage. Still good, look how long that combo lasted. Okay, get a 3. Gonna get a combo of his own. Okay, I like the extension here from Naroma to push more towards the wall. Nice throw break. Good block, one for that punish, I don't think that would've hit. And trying to get him to this corner. Tishuman fighting out and takes that round, steals it away again. And I like the fact that he's stopping this pressure. Every time he pushes to the wall, he knows Naroma's gonna go crazy. So he's not letting him get anything started. And here's a big combo. Oh yeah, and if this gets to the wall, uh-oh. Here's a mix-up. More pressure here, and nice spring kick to get out of there. Nice. Goes over the low. Still, still gonna keep this combo going on the wall. Went for the mid that time, trying to mix him up. But he got a wall splat with that as well. Big hug, that 4-4-12. But the wall messes up the combo. Duh. Oh, this is oh. an important exchange here. Has the wall here. It's going to do extra damage into uh. the shoulder. Oh, the slow mo. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. One round apiece. Both players still fighting. Fight. One round, one match. Oh, what a block. I can't believe he blocked that. Wall. Good damage. This time going for the low. He knew he was going to stay in the assault here from Tishuman. A little slow on that punish. And once again, a bad position on that wall. But Naroma looking good, duck and punish right there. Oh, no. Tishuman. This, this could be it. Uh oh, set point coming up here for Tishuman. Man, he played this slow and steady, and now he looks like he's about to win the race. Slime putting the brakes on here. Goes for the mid option. No punish. Block punish. Nice wild rider 2 1. And the momentum really shifting in Tishuman's favor right now. He is controlling a lot of the offense in the matchup. Well, gets the magic four, not able to get that combo out. Oh, and there's the punch again. I like that string on Wake Up. Really good. Jackhammer to stop the pressure. Another tornado oh, disaster. It, it was enough. And Tishuman taking the advantage here, winning 2-1 to one over Kowas Games to Roma. And that was scary. I was waiting for at any moment in time when Naroma would make a comeback. I thought something big was going to come from Naroma, but like I said, still playing just as slow. And I feel like that's what gave Tishuman like the advantage, especially with a character like Raven who's doing nothing but trying to open you up. And he really had his opportunity to really find his flow in the mm -hmm. matchup. And you know, Naroma was so strong in that early match. 
and it just kind of fell apart there towards the end. Well, not done yet. Not not completely out of the running just yet. Oh, yeah. So if you guys are tuning in, you were watching Round Robin. We're trying to figure out the two best scores out of this matchup and who is going to advance, of course, into our top eight. One on the winner's side, one on the loser's side. But, man, I'm excited for this next matchup. We have Europe versus yep. America. Now, it's going to be uh, Kanan Trench uh -huh. versus Anakin. So you said you heard a little something. A little birdie told you, apparently, that there was something a little interesting Not about this Not just any match. birdie. Kanan Trench himself told me that. Oh. He wanted this matchup. He wanted to fight against Anakin. So he's going after him. I mean, what kind of expertise can you have versus a player like Anakin? He's been making the run for quite some time. Like, he, he's no stranger to the competition. I feel like Kanan Trench is definitely out to make a statement if he's saying he's aiming at a player like Anakin. You know, obviously, both of these players, veterans on the tournament scene, and they both actually were in the World Finals last year for the King Iron Fist Tournament in uh, Global Finals in Japan, and they actually both did pretty well, just make, just short of making it out of the, the pool stages. So here we get one year later, in the World Finals, and these two are going to be going at it. So I don't think they got to play last year no, in the didn't. World Finals. So this is a, especially, this is pretty bold for Mr. Kane and Trench to be like, hey, I'm going to go in the pool with Anakin, and I'm going to beat Anakin. That's, that's pretty crazy. Because Anakin's one of the best players in the States at this point. That's correct. Definitely put in some of, if not the most, legwork out of any um, Tekken World Tour participant in, in a lot of these instances. Only rivaled by, you know, JDCR, maybe Saint. All right, we're going to see how this is going to turn out. But of course, Kanan Trench known to use a number of characters. He's picking Yoshimitsu in this instance. Mm. And of course, we know Anakin picking Jack. Yeah, and Kanan Trench just recently, he even said himself, like later on in, in the, the season, he wasn't playing as sharp as he could have been playing. Got a little lazy, but now here playing a lot sharper. Oh, yeah, and this is where it matters. I mean, this is the, the World Finals. I mean, there's no, there's no turning back. There's no time machines here. But you got to be able to perform. This is the day. This is the finals. And we are going to the Devil's Pit here. And this is good, this is good for a character like Jack. He wants these walls. And this is a pretty small stage. This is a basic combo from Jack can definitely carry you from wall to wall. Well, not wall to wall, but from mid stage to wall. The U.S. versus oh, the U.K. Ass in this air. Volcano Buster in the volcano. Oh, Volcano Inception. Uh-uh. Here's the wall. What kind of Oki are we going to see here from Anakin? Anakin using a bit more on the arsenal that we really haven't seen for a while. Right, going definitely outside that regular uh, string of moves that you see a Jack player use. Gets the counter hit, conversion combo, and this is looking really good. Puts Anakin in rage now, and Kane and Trench pop back the whole round with one oh. series just out of range and no whip punish by Anakin. He went for the crowd catch too there, went for the rage drive here. Looking really nice there with a clean set of quick mid pokes there. Kane and Trench, first one on the scoreboard here. Wow, and that went from good to bad so quickly for Anakin. Kanan Trench right now, continuing with the momentum, catching him, looking. Right now, the pressure at the wall here, there's a good duck there from Anakin. Finally stopping that pressure coming from Kanan Trench. And he is just keeping him on the toes. Get off of me, bro. Yeah, he went for the rainbow drop there, unable to get anything out of it. But here's a debug, and Anakin's still confident with a oh. lot of his offense. Still gets the position change, another Volcano Buster. And he's going to get the side switch. This is a good position to be in. Oh, but, nice. But with Kane and Trench in rage, that's a block. Not going to be able to punish him. Kane and Trench trying to keep it calm. What a block. Gets out of range. And just great movement by Anakin. And another interrupt. Thought he's going to move forward. Throw not working out. And there it is, Anakin. Anakin able to clutch it out there. Tie it up on rounds here. Good spacing and great use of the lows there. Okay, count. Oh, the oh. delay. Second hit. All this trick in the book. This is what I was talking about, Carrie. You're already on the wall. Look at this, 60% already gone just from the middle of the stage chain exchange. And the delay here from Anakin, and wow, what a series there! Now he's up two rounds to one. And you got your wish, and you don't look like you want it that much anymore. Nice trade again, and there's another launch combo. Anakin in full control. Here it comes. Great movement. Kane and trenches. Offense has not been that good, but his defensive moves he just haven't been able to capitalize. Oh, and Anakin is going in right now. He is feeling himself, but here comes Kanan Trench, an opportunity. He does have rage, so he's dealing extra damage here. Oh, and the low to take it, Anakin. Kanan Trench, this is not what you want, good sir. This is what he wanted. This is what he's getting right now. <laughs> it's giving him that work. Yeah, I mean, I mean, sometimes, though, you really have to hype yourself up. You have to know that you're going into battle and you're going to be able to come out on top right now. But look at a player like Anakin. He's played with the best of the best. Oh, He's yeah. been on that stage. This is not new for him. It's just to say that you want to play a player like Anakin, I mean, that's that's no easy feat, good sir. 
Well, I respect him for it. I mean, he is giving the fight. I mean, he played brilliantly in the opening rounds. Obviously fell a little short. Anakin's offense really took over towards the latter half of the match. And a lot of the pokes, especially the way that Anakin was delaying his lows, mm -hmm. his down back one, his crouch down back one. Round one. It was really working out in his favor. I mean, there were no blocks here or there. There were no crush attempts. I want to see more of that pacing that we saw from uh, Kane and Trench on that first round when he made that amazing comeback. So. Uh-oh, caught nice. with the low. Goes for a small reset. Look at that movement by Anakin. Another oh. debugger. That's the thing, man. So confident in his debugger, there's a good throw break. Wow, fishing for it down 4-2. Oh, small hit on the low with punish again. Something small, not too big, while standing four on the punish. Jack him. Oh, the second hit, able to punish it. Uh -oh, oh, this could be big. Again. Into the rage drive, and that should be it. Okay. Kane and Trench. Kane and Trench, and that's what we saw in that first round of that first game. Let's see if he can keep it going this time. And another interrupt. So unconventional. Plant and seed, save the earth. Oh, nice. Potentially a big combo here. He might be able to push it closer to the wall here. Oh, just short of it. He's not going to get up. Oh, he oh, does. Oh, so late. You cursed him, man. What are you doing? I mean, I thought he saw it. And that's the thing. Oh, nice low parry. This could be big. Kane and Trench may be running away with a two-round lead here. What's going to happen? Oh, Kane and Trench. Two-round lead in the second game. Fight. 4-2. Oh, Perry oh, this time. Go. And he was ready for it with the big screw follow-up. And now he's going to get the wall here. What kind of style owning are we going to see? Okay, nice. Get up low this time around. What a punish coming from Yoshimitsu. Kane and Trench looking sharp. Puts himself on the other side, though. Big mid. And Kane and Trench looking like he's running away. A down for one to test him and brings it back three rounds straight. Maybe was, he did one in. That was a quick three rounds, might I add. And man, Kane and Trench is looking like a man determined here. Maybe he did want Anakin. Maybe he knew what he was talking about. Yeah, he's revving up the engine, man. Got to get past a certain point. Looking like a young James McAvoy in Split, yeah. man. That's what he looks like, man. <laughs> he's going to transform. Anyways. Going into this pivotal third match here between these two. I want to see the stage. We've seen the dojo still. Okay, all right, all right. We've seen both characters have, like, some crazy options on this stage. It's still going to be good for both. But it's all about who gets that momentum. It seems like if Kane and Trench gets that momentum, it's always in his favor. We really haven't seen the, the bag of tricks that Yoshimitsu is known uh -huh. for. So does he have some shenanigans? Does he have some setups? We're going to find out. But, you know, Anakin, the way he plays, he is playing straight. He's playing the player. He yeah. knows the rhythm. He knows the timing. He knows the combos. Might be just another day in the office, but we'll see if Kane and Trench has anything to say for it. Oh, nice trade again. Oh, and a big Ooh. counter hit from Anakin. Oh, oh right back at you. Oh, just wake up rage drive. And that's going to be good damage. Oh, no, and a drop from Kane and Trench. Jump back. Still getting over the low. Oh, nice stuck there from Anakin here. Once again, not finishing. That's how he got a bunch of those counter hits. But Anakin round taking two. round one of this game three. Fight. Nice, slow, patient play. Put the brakes on that, and here comes Kane and Trench with, again, the buffered low parry. Pushing yeah. towards the wall. Man, the range that these guys are fighting at, this is crazy. Spring kick. Duel tries to go for the mid. Oh, oh he didn't have the sword, that's why. No sword stance, pulls it back out. And here's the pressure into the debug, Anakin not scared at all. Oh, oh no! Wow. Tries to jab him out, gets the combo on the nip up. He's gonna get him to the wall, uh, uh. No, the Just last hit with. Joe wall jump, mid again, flips back. Oh, and the punish, Kane and Trench one. tying it up. Again, this is the last match between these two, and this is going to be big because, remember, only the top two out of the pool will make it into our top eight. Interrupt again. Every match counts. Oh, oh, jackhammer. He's down for it, too. You got to be careful. You reach, I teach. Big counter hit. Wall looking great. Uh-uh. Into the uh. shoulder lean. And uh, Anakin double. with a double the double. And look at the delay here, Anakin on his prey right now. Two rounds to one and looking to Round take it here. Fight. Again, Ugh. he's been using the standing two to the forward two and it's been working out for him in dividend. Uh oh, here we go. Launch it. Okay. Into, into the screw follow up here. He's going to push towards the wall as well, but he misses it. The last hit doesn't hit. Still gets the tech with the low, that unblockable low. And Kane and Trench making this look a little better. Jack Hammer on the follow up after the trade. Uh oh. Jack Seven is enraged. The red dress. The one you put on for date night. You need to be careful. Be careful oh, here. The delay. Into the press. Is that going to be enough? Uh, 
One mix up here. Oh, oh back and, one and to a take it. This ain't what you want, son. This ain't what you want, son. No, what a brilliant set, of course, between these two players. So, of course, we're going to see more of them later on. But, man. That group play, like we said before, and you said Kane and Trench wanted Anakin. Oh, yeah. Oh, didn't want me, kiddo. And just an update for everyone that's here in the venue, uh, Harada-san and Michael Murray will be doing a signing at 6 p.m. Oh, now. okay, all right. Instead all right. of 5 p.m. So if you guys are here for that, of course, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Of course, they're going to be here interacting with all the fans here. And that's what I like about this. Man. There are so many Tekken fans here. I was so impressed with everybody that came out. So thank you guys for coming out here. But we have more action for you. Now, of course, I, I believe we have uh, Kane and Trent still sitting up on the stage. Oh, yeah. Set up again. But like we said, this group play, he said he wanted to be in this group going straight head on for Anakin, and it's not looking too good. His next match is versus another Jack 7, Naroma. See, that's the thing is, like, I don't know if this is going to work out in his favor or not, but he's going to be playing against probably the same character twice in a row now. That will it help or will it not? We'll see. I mean, they're obviously two different Jack beasts, but we'll see how this one works out. And. Welcome this is going to be important. I mean, if Kane and Crunch loses here, he might he might be done for the group play. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like you said before, two different kind of Jack players, and the pacing is even different between these two. Oh, yeah. Roma can be a lot more offensively scary than a player like Anakin, who's who's not as active. Um, I want to see what Kane and Trench learn from Jack overall, just for that matchup that he can apply to this matchup here. Yeah, and you know, in the previous match against Anakin, we saw him once he started his offensive flow, it was working out in his favor. Oh, yeah, he was doing oh, yeah. Some amazing stuff. Not only that, he was keeping Jack at the wall. The wall control was something that was uh, really nice to see, but will he be able to employ that against Naroma, which, again, is a very different kind of player. And Naroma. And, you know, Naroma lost earlier against Tishimon, so if Naroma loses this as well, he might be done as well. So this is going to be a big match, of course, to decide the fate of what's going to be happening in group number three, and we are going to the Abandoned Temple. All right, and we've seen Jack in the stage before. He can definitely get really good wall carry. Yoshimitsu, no stranger to that either. Fight. Space Samurai Squid, nice block oh, on the deep up, full watch punish. He tried for the big hit early on and getting punished for it. Kane and Trench pushing him towards the wall, but going back the other way, here comes Naroma. Completely different get up three combo than we've seen Anakin perform, and that's one of the differences. We're going to see different combo situations coming from these separate players. Different flavors. Okay, good punish there. Oh, wow, rising. One. Down 4 one, one This wall carry's looking pretty good. Uh, this uh, might be uh, uh, end round right there. So the Roma drawing first blood. Round two. Kane and Trent, you, got, you have to stop that pacing. Like I said before, the Roma, he's more of a position player. He gets in and he wants you to be afraid of everything that he's doing. Nice, that did a lot of damage there. And the patience here, you know, Naroma just stalking him, waiting in his face here, looking for that opportunity, but here's a punish from Kenny Trench. Always in range, always able to get one of those down four twos, while rising one, rather, just to get combo punishes. He's definitely prepared. Naroma, great carry. And of course, he knew the, the, that it was high. He was able to duck and punish it just in time, and here comes the jackhammer, and look at the follow-up. I like that. Spins a little life to try to get out of the corner. Did not work out. Naroma, prepare. Fight. And that's the thing, is like, I wonder, out of all these players, we know a lot of them have been preparing. Oh, yeah. They have been in the lab. Like I said before, just Kane and Trench not prepared to fight a Jack-7 like this, it looks like. I wonder if he even thought about maybe fighting two Jacks in the first right. stages. Having your eyes set on something like that, you gotta be prepared. Plant seeds again, but not out of this yet. Still to just the first game. You can definitely make adjustments. First game goes to Naroma, but he's gonna have to make some adjustments if he's gonna wanna stand a chance right now. I have the faith. I mean, you know, Kanan Trench is one of those players, again, who plays off the momentum. And if he's, if he's able to get the key hits in and keep him at the wall, I'm sure he can pull this off. But Naroma, he is playing like mad right now. We've seen him play a few other characters, but sticking, like, to Yoshimitsu, I guess he feels like this is the best shot he has. Or maybe he just feels like there's something in the matchup where he could deal with it a little better. All right, once again, Dragon's Nest. Pretty, pretty small stage. Still good for Jack 7 I'd say it's good either way. I mean, mm -hmm. Yoshimitsu again has a lot of tricks, of course, to get away from the wall, but also to keep Round his opponent at the wall. We'll see who's able to employ fight. their pr pressure oh, and their momentum. Oh, oh man. Big counter hit. All right, Kane and Trench. He's waking up a little bit. Has it near the wall. Cut it short there. Oh, nice. Big counter hit. Gets Rocket Kick right after. That's boot. 
him up with the small low, catches him, ducking, tries oh. to go off the wall, I, I like it. I like it, he was able to evade there, that was a good option. If he, even if he got in out of there, he wouldn't be taking that much damage. Speaking of evade, look at this back turn combo that came from Naroma and a series to take the first round, oh wow. my gosh. Into the Kosek kick, and look at that, 1-0 right now. Naroma continuing the momentum that he had in that earlier match. Just picking him apart. What a whip punish. Down for a two, and look at how much carry he's going to get on the wall. Oh, and not just that. He is also going to get the damage. wall damage. What's he going to do afterwards? Into the jackhammer. Oh, with the C plant. That's going to be a big punish. All right, nice. Get the Fubuki lead at 4 4 3. All right. Again, they're fighting. Oh. Good read there. Look at this explosive play, like you said before. Very momentum based. Tries to go for the raise drive. Naroma blocks it off. Gets close and another whip punish. Just takes a step back. Down 4-1. Yeah, Respect that down, my space. That down 4-2 has not even been coming close to at least being blocked. And Naroma knowing this, making those whip punishes count. Oh, tries to go for the throw and Naroma's prepared. Duck, punish, and we're gonna get this wall kick. Not just that, he has this positioning here. This could be key in the matchup. Oh, this could be the final game. Okay, caught him. Needs to keep this momentum. Naroma controlling the pace though. Finds oh, a double can't. jackhammer. Down for two max distance. And he might be able to close it out here. Into the blue fist and Naroma getting his first win here in group play. And now Kane Trench now two losses here in the group. That's gonna be a hard sale. Now he has to wait on the results of everybody else. He's gonna need a miracle right now. This is gonna be hard no matter what. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna switch over, of course, to the two players that did win earlier in their group play matches. So it's gonna be Tishumon versus Anakin. And this is gonna be quite the match, I think. Well, I mean, Tishumon getting here had like a really, really hard tournament coming up in Paris Games Week. And I feel like that kind of prepped him for the play that he's gonna see here. Um, Anakin, no slouch, but even still, we don't see many Master Ravens. That's one of the problems oh, yeah. in this matchup. Does Anakin know anything about the matchup? We're gonna find out. And that's the thing, you know, I watch uh, Twitch every now and then. Yep. I like to tune in during the Tekken streams. Anakin streams a lot, and he's been messing around with Master Raven as well. Obviously, he has the familiarity, uh, knowing how to use the character, knows the holes of the character, mm -hmm. but it's different when you play against someone that uses this character as their main. So we're gonna see how this turns out in the matchup. Does he have enough data? Does he have enough knowledge? Does he have enough knowledge of Tishumon's Master Raven as well? We'll find out. But again, of course, this is a very decisive match. I would say whoever wins this match will probably make it out on the winner side of this group. Well, I don't know, man. Tishumon versus Naroma, and then Naroma versus Anakin. These, these, are, these are important sets, like we said. <sighs> All right, here we go. I like to see these kind of international matchups because Welcome to the King of Iron oh, yeah. they play at such different paces. Oh yeah. Like to see Anakin play versus, you know, any kind of international talent is always a treat, but versus a different character like Master Raven and, and, and still a player of the caliber of Tishumon? Come on now. Alright, they shake hands. There you go. Good games. Oh, they hug it out. I assume that's what happened. Yeah, we didn't see it, so I'm not gonna believe it. Alright, here we go. Still really scary. No matter, on both sides, this could go either way. Um, maybe Tishuman gets that explosive offensive movement. Maybe that puts Anakin on tilt. He's not prepared. Or maybe even more so, Anakin switches up his gameplay a little bit. Maybe he's not even prepared for an Anakin's original gameplay. There's a lot to consider here, especially in this round-robin format. It gets really scary. Oh, oh let's, let's go. Stay. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Let's see, that's how you know it's good. Shima building. Elevator. Fight. Falls up. Oh, nice. Early launcher gonna get the wall. Wow, just opened it up with a wall setting one. Not just that, he's gonna get max damage here at the wall. And Ugh. a mix up. What's he gonna go for? He went, of course. Oh, but this position now, this is not looking good. And jackhammer. Tissue line. Not looking good. Once it gets full control early out, another jackhammer. Only 40 seconds left. Jeez. And what a series there from Anakin. So confident, hitting all those mids where it counted, taking that first round. Oh no, Steve, you're humming. You're, you're getting me too high here. Seeds. Let's go. Mid tissue mark in his feelings right now. Continually ducking. I think Anik is powering up with this music now, too, because he right? is going in. Yo, this dude has planted three trees. Captain Planet will be proud. Oh, and he wakes up, hits him with the down back one, able to close it out. Just like that, two rounds straight for Anakin, and we're at the roof. Trade. Not going to be able to get anything off of that. Not prepared. I like the low. Going to try to keep this offense going. 
Nice, and I like there. He's testing him now, using the 4-4 into the low jab afterwards. But right now, big damage here. Follow-up. Goes for the low, and Anakin not getting up. I like the pressure Tissue Mark's putting on. Look at him. Look at the advantage that it gave him. Test Round that knowledge. Four. See what Anakin knows about some of these situations. Fight. Frame trap. Oh, again. It's been such a surgeon with that move. Able to sneak dash right in there and land it, but a big down forward two from Anakin. But he drops the combo, and that's just unfortunate. Sometimes that happens to Jack. I like that twitch movement right in front just to get the big Oh, launcher. he dropped the combo. Damn, oh, you have to know those stages. Wow, snake dash to get under, still gets the hit. No counter hit. Pressure looking good. Finally starting to fight back. Gets the debugger. Jack 7 still in rage. Tries to go for the throw. Nice throw break. Anything's gonna do it. Master Raven. Nice, went for the nice quick mid there. Now we're going to the final round here. Oh, that was a big down forward two there from Anakin. Not only that, he's gonna get the wall. Ugh, no. He goes for the Oki, keeps him there. I like that. Oh, into the big hit there. What's he gonna do with the mix up? What's he gonna follow up? Oh, tries to go for the big launch. It's not gonna work out. Anakin. What a dominant last round there from Anakin. Wow. Flex on him. Ugh. Ugh. That was nice. Yeah, that was pretty good. That's one of the things Anakin has at his disposal. Every time you think you have him on the ropes, he makes one one great read, and all of a sudden you're back to blocking. You're back to guessing when he's going to start his offense. Like I said, he's definitely no stranger to this. No stranger at all. Yeah, this is big, of course, man. Both of these players have the win so far here in the group play. And winning this, of course, will put them in very favorable position to win the group. We'll find out, of course, who is going to take it. And we're now in brimstone and fire. Okay, once again, like I said, if Master Raven can get her offense started, stages like this are some of the best stages for her. But on the same side, if Jack Seven's pressuring you, controlling that spacing and that range, it's going to be so much harder to get it started. Oh, nice. Good block. And then, oh. wow, the follow-up. Did you see that? Just beat the debugger out there. Nice counter hit. And here comes Tissue Mon. Big mid gets the wall splat and a combo again. Looking to close uh. it out here. That should be enough. And wow, seven golden letters. Perfect early on here in match number two. So the reserve down four two. Nice back one realign back four. There we go. Just to get the wall. Tries to go for that jackhammer to get the knockdown. Uh oh, went for the whip punish, unable to get it, but here comes Anakin. Now poking back. Oh, did wow. you see that? Jesus, man. Uh. Now pushing towards the wall. One more mix up could do it. Tries to get the tackle. Oh, oh did you see the patience? He let him hang himself there. He said, go ahead and whip. I'm going to come in and just hit you. Oh, nice shoulder just to stop it. What a low parry to answer back. And watch the carry. Watch the damage. No. Oh, I like that. They're making an adjustment. They're trying to get the low and a great punish there. Here comes Tishimon. Wall messes up the combo just a little bit. Still not prepared. And giving him a little space to breathe. Nice whip punish. Again, back turn hop kick. That was pretty ballsy there. Trying to space out and get that big launch. Oh, did you see that? Ooh, smaller whip punish works out in favor. And this is that thing Master Raven has going for her. She gets one hit, that momentum changes. She gets great carry, great damage steal. And great positioning. And right now, Tishumon in good position here to tie it up. Oh, big wall standing one follow up with the Vampire Knee. Goes for the wall combo. And look at the series. Gets her two great combos, lots of damage. Oh, oh went for the block oh, That's going to reach. That's so hard to avoid with a big character like Jack. This second game looking so good for Tishumon to answer back versus Anakin. Pulled out all the ninja arts. Yeah, you have to be careful. It looks like it has less range than it actually has because oh, yeah. she pulls out the sword, and that's what gives her that little extra spacing that she needs. He was like, do you know in. who I am? I'm the Hokage. Get away here. <laughs> You're not ready for this. Master of the Ravens. Actual disappearing tech, a real sword. That's a ninja threat if I've ever seen one. Oh, yeah. You got to be careful. Final match between these two. Man, that was very impressive. That momentum and that comeback from the towards the end of the match, Tishumon really putting on a show there. And now we're going to one of the smaller stages in the game. Like I said, Tishumon playing a very explosive character like Master Raven. Anything can happen, especially if you let your guard down. Commencing mission. Easy to get those lows, steam rolling. Fight. Have you afraid to uh, duck right in front of your opponent? One. 
nice. And look at the pressure early on, but Anik is still holding the slight life lead here. Uh-oh. Dropping away, and good interrupt there from Tishumon. Oh, nice face surf. Surf ninjas, huh? Hey, goes for the follow-up. Vampire okay. D blocked on the rage drive. Uh oh, oh down there you two. go. And Anakin taking that first round here. Again, this is the decisive final match between these two. Definitely okay with him holding back in the knockdown, not able to make anything happen. Big low amp, delayed hop kick punish coming from Tishuman. Look at this damage. Oh, he caught him with the mid. Oh, look at this offense. Breaks the throw. Down back one. What a punish. Down four, one answer back. One round apiece in this final game. Again, lots on the line here. This is a very important match at the group stage. Who is going to be able to run away with this one? Down oh, did you see that? So far away. Threading the needle. Now has him at the wall here. More pressure. I like these jackhammer resets. Delayed hop kick. Whip punish. That was a great whip punish. Still would have blocked it no matter what. Gets the 4 4 3 with the vampire knee again. Looking for that opening. Oh, oh he caught him wow. with just the tip. Now the wall. Oh, dude, he dropped the knee. And a sidestep by Anna can just stay alive. And another one. Tishumon going to set point. Like you said, this is pivotal. Fight. Down back one early on. Looking for those hits again. Look how far away she has those access to those lows. Gets really annoying. We saw a few fishing. Those down four twos definitely paying off. What's going to be the call? Oh, wow. Oh, that's a big launch. And he's going to push towards the wall. But the side wall that kind of messes him up. He's still at the advantage here. Oh, Ooh. wow. I can't believe that hit. The and child oh. bearing hips in the pop off by Tishuman. Oh, oh. I got to see the standings on. I got to see the standings. Now. Th th this is going to be crazy now. Uh oh. All right. Ugh. Business picking up. Man, so we have a few more matches obviously left in the group play, but right now it's going to be a tight race to see who's going to be able to get out. Obviously, Tishumon undefeated so far here in the pool play. I don't think a lot of people saw that coming. I mean, you have to remember, Master Raven is not those characters you see a lot, especially in tournament play, especially in United States tournament play. So he would have to do a lot of research if he would want to have a leg up versus somebody like Tishuma. But of course, we're going to get into our next matchup, and it's going to be Tishuman, who we just saw against Anakin. He's going to be going up against Kanan Trench. This is Are you ready for that forth. one? This is the back and forth that I was talking about. Like, each match is going to mean a lot because you, you have to... Having a round robin format is so scary because you have to play sharp so every time. You have to want to win every match. Yeah, let's say you do win every match. You're, you're good, right? But then the other guys that don't win every match, they have to rely on the other guys losing. They have to rely on the other guys, the other guys not outpacing them. Right. So, so sharp. You have, to, you have to stay so sharp all day. Every match matters. Kane and Trench not looking too good. Shake hands. So this is something I'm excited about. Master Raven versus Yoshimitsu. So it's a match that nobody we, you no, never see that. No, match. we don't. Not in tournament play, you don't. Yoshimitsu versus Master Raven. Well, you know, at the European finals, we saw it. Possibly, obviously. Yes, yeah, but I mean, yeah. that's because they're both from Europe, but it's very rare that we see it at the world stage. Kane and Trench, like we said before, repeat showing here at the Tekken World Finals. Yeah, both of these players actually last year, they were in the mm -hmm. global tournament last year. So we're going to see, of course, who is going to run away with this. And we're in the precipice of fate. And it's fate that these two ninjas will collide. Oh, here force. we go. Round one. Ninja run in the classic. Fight. Early start off with the offense. Movement looking good. Tries to go for a low. Kane and Trench answers back with a low of his own. Oh, nice counter hit there on the side. Step one follow up here. Oh, he drops the combo, and here comes Tishumon. Oh, nice. Tries to use that spin. Gives up a little life. Still takes damage. Nice. Good lock in there. I like the mix up. Tries to go for Surf Ninjas. Whoa, double teleportation device here. Look at the defense coming from Kane and Trench. Trying to chop away, but he caught him there right through the rage right there. Got some big counter hit. Remember, you get the armor, but you still take the damage. So if you get hit and it takes off that life, you're still going to lose that round. Oh, yeah. But again, remember, that's on the rage arts. Yeah, but on the rage drive, there are no armor. There's no armor on it. Oh, yeah. 
If there was, I would use it all day. I know, right? Here we go. Got some at the wall. This could be big. Goes for the back one spike again. This time going for the lows. Trying to chop away at the legs here, but Kane is fighting back. What a reversal. Oh, oh wow. That, that would have like been a big, answer. big opportunity there. Back three. And Tishimon has been getting away with that kick so oh, much here. That wow. jumping low kick. Round three. Tishimon. Definitely one of those characters you have to be, you have those players, you have to be really careful. Up close, you get hit a lot. Magic 4 not able to make anything happen from it. But Kane and Trench not afraid to fight up close like this. Uh-oh. Yeah, follow up with the back turn down one. What's he going to do here? Ooh. Movement looking so good. Tishuman playing a lot more offensive. Oh, he went for a flash here. Tried to stop the momentum, but not enough. And Tishuman poking away, picking away. Round four. Two rounds to one. Kane and Trench needs to be careful. He's getting a little too carried away trying to fight with Tishamon. Another trade. A low parry. On wake up. He seems so prepared right now. And look at this carry. Pretty good damage, but a drop. Down 4 1 again. Off nice his duck. Oh, wow. Full lot punish. That's pretty good damage. And he gets a good follow up here. Pushes towards the wall. Oh, I like the roll around. Still gets up until the unblockable. Kane and Trench putting on a show right now, but. Tishimon fighting back the other way, oh. avoiding the puddle. Oh, rage driving. That's what I meant. So fast. No armor, but really, really fast. Especially in the clutch. And once again, Magic 4, you cannot fight up close with a player like Tishimon. Look at the conversion. Look at this damage. Look at the Oki. Such a spike into the low, into the follow up here. What's he going to do with it? Uh oh. Oh, reversal. Had a chance to stab him Another there. Another reversal. Tornado disaster. Goes for the running three. Nice offense. Tishuman on a run right now. And once again, I just feel like Kane and Trent just not doing the smartest thing, trying to fight Tishuman up close. He just seems so prepared. A bunch of clutch low pairs. Well, the thing is, we've seen a lot of uh, just Kane and Trent just trying to react to everything. He's trying to see what's going to happen from the opponent. He's not throwing out any of the crush moves. He's not going for a 4-3. We're not seeing a 4-4. Four four. Not for the jumping sword swipe. I mean, there's a lot of opportunities that he has to kind of, like, you know, get off me kind of against his opponent, but he hasn't been employing any of it. He's really trying to wait and react. And I feel like Tishuman is doing a great job of going to the opposite play style of what he, the opponent expects. He's going wild style. Yeah. Every time. All right, once again, we're going back in. The Mishima building is the stage. So I hope your Round affairs are in order. You're not going to be going home today. Or maybe you will. Who knows? Nice. The lows are coming. And again, back in the building. Like I said, man, look at this. A bunch of trades always tr working out in Master Raven's favor, it seems. Blocks the low this time around. Tries to fight back out of the corner. Oh, he got a big counter hit. And again, he has rage. So he's going to be doing some decent damage here. Let's we'll see what kind of mix-up he's going to go for. Wow, he had the duck. He had the right read. Oh, what a whiff punish. Man, so much range. Master Raven. Tishuman taking that first round of the second game. Oh, oh what a punish. punish. Nice wall sending one not just that. This wall is gonna hurt big time. Ugh. Back one spike again, goes for the low. I like that. Give him a little space to breathe. Maybe hang himself. First round looking really good. Tishumar trying to continue. Oh nice and another launcher. Catches Kane and Trench reaching just a little too far. Not gonna be the round. Or is it? No. Oh wow. Wow, did you see that damage? And right now, Tishumon looking to close it out here. Going in straight rounds here at the roof of the Mishima building. Tishuman maximizing a lot of the damage that he's getting right now. Back one spike again. This time going for the down back four again. Twice in a row into the power crush. And Tishuman wow. with the perfect. Oh my god. And Kane and Trench just not doing too well right now. But that's not the end of group three just yet. Our next match. The Jack Mirror, possibly. Naroma versus Naroma. Now, we've seen... What? Naroma versus Naroma? Uh, Naroma Can versus Anakin. That? Jesus. <laughs> I'm thinking Jack versus Jack, not Naroma versus Naroma. But the Mirror. Now, we've seen Naroma play characters like Fang before. We've seen him pull it out. But will he switch in the Mirror? Is that something that he's done before? You know, it has been. So, we've seen Naroma at the Korean event going up against Saint. He lost to Saint Fire. And because he lost in the Jack Mirror, he switched to Fang. Fang yep. And the reason why he switched to Fang is he thinks that Fang is a good match, an annoying match versus Jack. 
Well, we talked to him about that matchup, and he said one of the reasons he went to Fang versus Saint was because he knows what problem matchups he has versus him. Like he said, Fang does seem to be a problem for Jack, so he ran it, and it worked out in his favor. We'll see, and you know, Narome right now, he is he's looking for a miracle here. He needs the win if he wants to stay alive. So we're going to see if this is really going to help him out, because I believe, if, if, if I'm right, this is a decisive match. If Narome takes this, he's going to make it out on over Anakin. Oh, wow. This in the group. So this is going to really decide who's going to be getting out in the loser side here in group three. And you got to think, you have to think about what this means for Kane and Trench, who put himself in this dangerous, dangerous group oh, versus yeah. these players and, and, that... And, and you got to give it up, though, for Kane and Trench. He may have not gotten a win here in the group play, but he fought his heart out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, Naroma. <laughs> a very, very scary opponent to face. So scary. We've seen that he can play the mirror better than almost of most players. I mean, let alone the Jack Mirror versus Saint. And now he's playing another Jack specialist coming from Anakin. Will he stick to the matchup? There it goes. We, got, we have one Jack on the screen. Playing on the character select screen a bit. Will he take the mirror? Oh, what's he so doing? He is, uh, he is flirting with danger here. So what do you do? Do you do you play the mirror out of count? There we go. All right, all right. Jack it's gonna seven. be a good old-fashioned Jack battle. Yep, Jack battle. You're right. The mirror coming up. Wait, maybe not. Oh man, this dude is playing with my emotions. Quit playing games with my heart. Jack, Jack seven. All okay, right, they all locked right. in. Here we go. I think they're actually locked in. We're going to the actual match once again. We know that Naroma can fight this, but can Anakin fight this? And this is an important match. Well, they have two chances here. I mean, after the first match, we'll see. There might be a character switch. We'll see, depending on how it goes. But this is going to be a big one, of course. One of these two players will move on, but which one will it be? So what happens? What if you're Naroma and you lose? Do you make that switch again to I'm bang? switching. Okay. <laughs> I'm switching. All right. But that's just me. We'll see. Not going to stick to your guns, huh? Hey, it worked from last time. He should have confidence in doing it again. Wow. Did they try to punish each other with down forward twos? You never know. Block and punish. Life exactly even. Oh, my. Just out of range here. And they are fighting toe-to-toe -to -toe right now. They are slugging. Same moves back and forth. It's like a playground fight. <laughs> oh, oh, big wow. punish. He was ready for it. That's going to hurt. Uh, uh, uh. Into the shoulder. Punish with the 4-2, I like it. Almost any hit from the Roma is gonna give him this first round in the set. Oh wow. Oh wow, no punish could have been so much more damage there. Block. Oh, he had a chance there. Wow. But Naroma's standing strong here right now, taking that first round. Man, that could have been such a big punish coming from Anakin. Planting seeds already. Naroma. Oh, Naroma testing him right now. He's trying to use a good mix-up amount of uh, going for that low. Trying to see what he knows. Okay, I like the patience once again. Nice Roma, waiting Anakin out in a lot of these situations. Tries to go for the duck and punish, did not work out. Anakin trying to get Naroma to swing, it doesn't work out. Naroma answers back with the read, low parry, gonna get the wall. And that should be it. Man. Two rounds straight for Naroma here, so not looking good for Anakin here in this opening match. But when there's a will, there's a way. You never know. Look at this, man. The Romans, like you said, he just knows so much about the matchup. Gets the down 4 2. Gonna push to the wall again and a drop. One for the big boot there. Here comes Anakin, goes for the dash in while standing one, unable to get him. Trying to catch him flinching there. Nice. While standing two for oh, the, ooh, the up 4 2. And he went for the big throw afterwards as well. Nice break and another throw attempt. He's just slowly out of range. Gets the low parry again. And it's the big boy damage. Gonna get that wall carry with that back four. Uh, uh, uh. And the wow. first match. Man, that was three rounds straight for Naroma against Anakin in that first game. Quite the statement here early on. And Anakin fighting for his tournament life here. He's going to have to do something. And we know Anakin has played other characters before, but will he switch? Is that even an option right now? We'll find out. Your, your guess is as good as mine. So we're going to the character select screen, of course. Stick it to the gun. Oh, no. Uh -oh. We are uh -oh. making a big switch here. He's going to let his hope lie on the Star Spangled Batter. The, fist. the hot blooded American, <laughs> Mr. Paul Phoenix. His tournament life on the line right now makes 
a daring switch. Oh, yeah. But, hey, this is a character that he's been using for pretty much his entire Tekken mm -hmm. career as well. It may not be the character that put him on the map, but it is a character that he's been playing. Oh, he's so very we'll confident see. with this character. Like I said before, we see a lot of Jack. Jack has gotten his points. But Anakin well, can't play other characters. You see the switch to Paul. Nice. Goes for the way back four there. Oh, big charge up. Gets the jab. Once again, Naroma playing really slow. Finally getting a few hits on the board. And look at the patience. Oh, big backswing. Big launch. And he's going to get the wall here. It's going to hurt. Uh, Death fist. Oh, my gosh. Did you see the damage? Oh, I definitely saw the damage block. Playing seeds. That was a good option low there. there. Oh, no. What's he doing? That was supposed to be the round. Okay, and the jab, just to check him on the move. And just like that, you know, Anakin proving that this pick was not in vain, able to get that first round here. Fighting back now, looking for that opportunity. Oh. It's a big throw. Ugh. Man, that's how his hair gets like that. <laughs> oh, nice. here we go again. Once again, that big launcher, and look at the carry. Ugh, death fist at 50%. Oh, there's a punish here. He went for the jackhammer. Oh, nice. th that could have hurt big time. Patience and you see Anakin. Oh, they both down for two at the exact same time. 2 1. Oh, no duck. Still waiting. Rage is there for Anakin if he needs it. Oh, oh, the jackhammer. Talk to my elbow. He wants to talk to you. Oh, fight. Okay, tries to go for a whip punch. Thinking Anakin was going to be swinging. No roll -roll. Hammer the gods. More pressure here. Goes for that dashing low. And oh, he had a chance. Roma content with eating all these lows. Knows that nothing big is going to come from it, but you've seen Anakin bank on and catching him ducking quite a few times. Oh. Down for it, too. Gonna get the wall up. Uh. Look at this damage again. here at the Jeez. Falling down. Oh, the demo, man. The games. The trickery. Is it a low or is it a death fist mid? And the thing is, because Naroma using Jack, such a big body character, Anakin can really maximize a lot of the wall damage here, and we might see it again. It's a low parry, gonna oh. break the balcony with a death fist. Another one? What, he missed? The flash elbow whipping, now pushing back towards the other side, and now Anakin is in trouble. He's at the wall. And lost all that momentum just because he dropped the combo. Uh-oh. Commando, what's next? Jab just to check him. Oh, oh, he went for the death fist punish. Just out of range. That bad boy. Oh, just a flash duck in a wild standing four. This is not looking good for Anakin. He needs this round to stay alive. This Naroma. Is a pivotal round here. Who's going to take oh, it? Oh wow. my gosh. Second hit, down one, two. Wasn't ready for it. Reversal. Get off of me, robot. That's what happens when the refrigerator falls on you. You got to reverse. Watch the legs. 4 4 1 again. Four, goes for a commander roll. While standing four challenge again. Once again, Naroma content eating those lows. No duck this time, though. Oh, into the sway back, too. But the brakes on, he has him back to the wall. This is scary. Once again, Naroma's starting to block those lows and taking the ground. No whip punish, another block low. The death fist, no punish. And with sidestep, Naroma's movement looking so good. The low, no finish. Jesus, oh my gosh. Two. 18 seconds left. These guys are exchanging. This is such a high level exchange of blows up close. Oh, oh my, gosh. my gosh. Did you see that? Oh. He flinched. And that will be dead. Man, he just ducked in his face. Did you see? <laughs> what? Oh man, that was intense. That was the ult That was that was the ultimate form of fishing. Anakin. Oh my gosh. Oh. Let's take a look at this replay. I'm assuming this is the great pause. Oh, oh my did god! Did you see that? <laughs> The, give me the rewind. Back in time. Hop in the DeLorean. Oh, I thought he, I thought, you know, it, was, I thought it was still paused. I thought could, it was paused. Like, play the video. If Anakin got away with that, it would have been insane. But man, that's going to conclude group number three. But it's been an insane series of matches so far. But we still have more action coming up. We have big group number four coming up. So I, I'm going to take a look at the overview right now. And as you can see, group three has concluded. Tishuman went 3-0. Naroma making it out 2-1. And, and Anakin going out 1-2 and two, along with Kane and Trench who went 0-3. So we have our two that's going to make it out of group three. The rest of our competitors will be going home. But man, what an explosive group. Oh, man.
But of course, Group 4 is coming up, and our next match is getting ready. You guys heard the cheers in the crowd. But man, it's going to be insane. But before we get into the match, we're going to take a quick break. A quick one. So I'll be back. Steve will be back a little bit later on, and we'll talk to you guys about more Tekken 7 action here live from the Tekken World Tour Global Finals presented by Cup Noodles. We'll see you in a bit.